Hey, what's everyone? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about how TSMC uh, and maybe computer chips, how they're going to be making chips in Arizona with a very big investment. Um, I'll be talking about why they're getting this investment, how it's happening, um, and how Biden's kind of partially behind it. Um, now, if you guys do end up liking this video, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. But before we get right into the video, I have to quickly say I am right leaning. However, this is one of the best things I think that Biden's done in his presidency. It's one thing I think that best pre that's one of the best things that a president has done for a while, um, at least that I can think of. Uh, I know there's been a lot of things otherwise, but this seems like it, like I think this is really important because I think uh, this kind of met method route of like bringing back technology into America this the, in this scale is going to be super important for the future of the country. So let's go right into this. Um, so first things first, iPhone chip makers TSMC invested forty billion dollars in Arizona plants. So. That's a big investment. Now, quickly, I do want to say, yeah, is this one okay? Um, this announcement came as President Joe Biden and the Taiwan-based firm Boss opened the factory in Arizona. So, Biden administration is pushing ahead with plans to bring onshore production of key components and everything from phones to military jets. I am very, very big on wanting to bring back industry into America instead of having everything be bought from other countries and manufactured in other countries. I want everything to be as as much as we can do that makes sense within reason. Um, be in America, right? I like. I don't think we're gonna be like. Oh yes, we're gonna start making like. I don't know. Maybe like those like really small cheap toys that we don't that people don't really need, or maybe just like toys like not not major ones. But I think it's like making these like high in, like intensity, like very importantly needed like computer software stuff. Not software, computer hardware stuff. That needs to be in America. I want that stuff. I want. I, I also want software. I want people to be making the software. I'm pretty pretty sure that's what it might be already how it is. I'm not exactly sure of the software part. But bringing this in, right? The plants will produce 3 nanometer and 4 nanometer chips used for iPhone processors. Semiconductors are, are sometimes referred to as the brains of electronics, like smartphones, car components, and AI technology. Um, I don't like. I don't like AI that much. But um, basically, the 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 chairman Mark Liu said the firm would build two semiconductor fabrication plants. With the first one expected to be online by 2024, the overall investment will be approximately $40 billion. This is the largest uh, investment that the company has made outside of Taiwan. Investment is a boost for uh, President Biden following supply chain disruption that has led to ship shortages and amid growing tensions between the US and China. Yes, things are pretty tense right now. There's another reason why I think this is really, really important. Also, I just, I just think this is such a cool thing that we're going to be able to make semiconductors in America at like such a large amount. Um, so the original deal for, for TSMC to build a plant in the U.S. came in 2020 when President Trump was in office. So Trump did start this kind of deal, it seems. I'm not sure exactly how the inner workings with, did, did, was the president saying, hey, please build this here? Or were they saying, hey, we want to build here kind of thing? Um, however, this this has increased the investment significantly. Um, quote, today we're going to be producing only about, sorry, producing only about 10% of the world's chips. So, geez, today we're down to producing only about 10% of the world's chips despite leading the world in research and design and new chip technologies, said Mr. Biden during a speech in Phoenix on Tuesday. So yeah, it's true. We're like leading in the, the technology for it, the, the design ways, but we're not making the stuff. We're, we're sending it off to across the seas. We're doing other things. We need to be making that here. The US once made over 30% of the world's computer chips before the jobs moved overseas, he said. The United States is better positioned than any other nation to lead the world economy in the years ahead if we keep our focus. I totally agree. The opening ceremony was attended by several heads of technology companies that rely on TSMC products, such as NVIDIA, Advanced Micro uh, and Advanced Micro Devices. My computer's running using NVIDIA right now. Uh, Apple's chief executive Tim Cook said it was a significant movement, saying, We look forward to expanding this work in the years to come as TSMC forms new and deeper roots in America. I think this is really, really good. Also, if you, I, I don't know if I mentioned someone of this, but TSMC is a Taiwan, a Taiwan company. So this is also helping strengthen ties with Taiwan, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, I think it's like a double whammy. I think it's really, really smart that this is happening. Um, I'm not sure how much credit Biden has banned it, but I'm, it, it seems like he has a decent amount for, to get them to like, not only keep their 12, uh, what, 12 billion, was it, was it 12 million or billion? It was billion, right? Um, 12 billion, 12 billion and getting it now to four, 40 billion. Oh my gosh. Like that's insane. Um, this kicks off at a legitimate battle between the U S and China on chip production with this being a monumental strategic move by TSMC. Obviously Taiwan wants to, you know, have better connections with, um, with other countries so that, you know, China won't mess with them. And oh my gosh, this is like a great connection to have made. 
Uh, the move came at a time when the relations between the two countries were soured, so fueled by Beijing's claims over self rule Taiwan and its increased assertiveness in Asia. Beijing sees Taiwan as part of its territory that must be unified with the mainland by force if necessary. This is why I think the Ukraine thing is so important too, that we cannot let Russia take back, not take back, just steal a country. We can't let that happen. We, can, we because if that happens, and we allow that the like, China's like, oh, we, we can do that too. We can't let. I, I don't. I don't even know what would happen if China like assaulted, like went on assault in Taiwan. I don't even know how the world would even function anymore. I just it, it's insane. Um, that see the U.S. responded by restricting access to advanced computer chip technology. That that has hit China's export-driven economy, which uses the, uses the technology to make and sell everything from phones to electric cars. So these these chips are really really versatile. I think they're even like in washing machines or in a lot of different things. We're going to take a look at this other article, and then uh, that that should be the end of the video after that. But and there's a few things this one uh, covered. I wanted to kind of talk about. Yet yeah, it's just oh my gosh, it's, it's so much more money invested in this country, and and forty billion dollars isn't. It's in the grand scheme, it's not a lot of money. That is, um, the the, the government the government spends that that kind of money way faster, right? But it, it, like this is like nothing compared to like what the government can do. The government can just be like put this here. But that's one of the things I think is beautiful about this. A lot of people, myself included, don't really want the government saying. Here, put all this here. I would rather have them do like, um, like you know, like tax breaks for the companies that, ha that are doing this. Not tax breaks, but it's like, I'm trying to remember the exact word. I think this article actually has it, which is why one of the reasons I want it. But they're actually like having, um, like, uh, it's like, it's like incentives, incentives to, to like, you know, build certain things, right? Um, and that's what this is. This is not the, the government saying, hey, we're going to be doing this. Also, it was, um, the end of this article, it said, Oh, wait, what is it? Yeah, right here. The President Biden signed a law committing $280 billion to high-tech manufacturing and scientific research amid fears the U.S. was losing its technological edge in China. The investments include, te yeah, it was tax breaks for companies that build computer chip manufacturing plants in the U.S. So that's, that's really good. It's it's saying, hey, we this, we want the supply in the country. We're going to offer money for it if you do it. And then they're doing it, right? Without the government saying, we're going to put, the government's not saying, company we will give you money you do this now they're saying hey this is an opportunity that we think that would be good for the country and they're offering the money for everyone to be able to use and people are using it and i think this is really really good um we see here biden raised the manufacturer site in phoenix spoke about bringing jobs investment to arizona the largest foreign investment in the history of the state yeah it's like bringing in connections right and then also it's bringing industry into america and versus vice versa where we're we usually build we're like oh we want these things in this this other place and business like you know business like our um owners of co companies will be like we want stuff manufactured over there okay you guys at this building start building the stuff for us right so tsmc accounts for about 90 percent of the world world's super advanced computer chips explaining tech giants like apple and qualcomm so Again, this is really, really good. Uh, TSMC previously announced it was putting a $12 billion facility in Arizona or if, uh, that will eventually manufacture three nanometer chips, this new, uh, new, the newest advanced technology. Between the two factories, thousands of high-paying tech jobs will be added to the state and 600,000 waivers per year will be produced. That's insane. That's insane. And, and the, the best thing is, it's bringing in so many jobs, it's bringing in, like, a lot of skilled labor. It's like... It's really, really good. I think this is just all around a good thing. I, I can't really think of anything that's really bad about it. Um, yeah, the global chip shortage, that caused everything to be so, so expensive. But this is going to help with stuff like this. So even though I'm, I'm right-leaning, and people on my channel know I'm right-leaning, if you just look at my content, this is beautiful. I, like, Biden, good job. I mean, I, I don't know exactly how much instrumental planning that he put into it, but... I, I, it seems like he did to be able to convince them because because they're not going to be like oh yes we're just going to increase to forty billion dollars just why not it, it's I would say it's probably because of one of uh, from the, you know that tax either tax break or maybe he was talking with coming say hey you guys should really like come over and like and you know invest in our country because we, we we will make sure that it pays off right um, I'm not exactly sure what it was but it seems like. Uh, I, I feel like this just has to be attributed to him. I don't think it, you, you can say it's a different way. I mean, do you just think that that's, that's a valid thing? Do you think this is from Biden? I, I would say it seems like it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't like a lot of his policy st stances. I don't like a lot of his like social stances. But this was a pretty good one. Um, I, I don't know about social stances. I I, Policy-wise, definitely. I, I'm not sure. It depends on what you mean by social, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, this was a really... Um, 
I'm impressed. I like this. This is pretty good. But yeah, let me know you think down below. I know my channel has a lot more right leaning people on it usually. Um, but let me know you think. Do you think this is a good thing, a bad thing? Um, does this change your opinion about Biden? Does this make you like him more? Does it make you dislike him more? Because maybe you think he's taking credit for this? I'm not sure. But let me know you think down below. Love you all so much. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Peace, peace.